Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. No matter how experienced you are in Studio One, at any point we probably appreciate when somebody shows us how to make our life easier. And that's why I'm presenting you with five of my favorite keyboard shortcuts that you might not know of yet in Studio One. Before we get started here, I quickly want to show you how you can access the keyboard shortcuts in Studio One, not just for reassignment, but also for your personal reference that can be very useful. You're going to click here where it says Studio One at the top of the menu items. And uh, in Windows, it's going to be a bit further to the right, but it's going to be the same label. Just click on Studio One and then Keyboard Shortcuts here. And of course, you can also assign this keyboard shortcut menu that you just opened to another keyboard shortcut. So you have a keyboard shortcut for opening keyboard shortcuts, uh, which is kind of funny. But it can be incredibly useful and we're going to do this um, assignment for this video. Make sure that we have it because uh, we're going to access the keyboard shortcut several times, five times to be exact. So just select the keyboard shortcut that you want to assign. It can be any other, it would always be the same principle. And then you click here where it says enter key. You just select any keyboard shortcut of your choice. I'm just going to go with uh, this one here, for example. And now after I hit OK, I can just quickly access the keyboard shortcuts by pressing zero on my keyboard, which is much faster, obviously, than having to dive into the sub menu every time. Having the keyboard shortcuts menu on this hotkey here is actually a lot more useful than you might think, because if you press a button and you're not quite sure what it does in Studio One, you can just quickly open up keyboard shortcuts now and the last triggered keyboard shortcut is currently highlighted. So C in that case would be click. All right. And if I hit S and I check my keyboard shortcuts again, that's solo. So that's a really cool way to get to know the keyboard shortcuts of your DAW better. You can also press here where it says uh, enter key, just click with your mouse, I mean, and then you can just type in any key and you would see the current assignment here. And uh, you can also click on show to directly go to that and reassign it. With that out of the way, let's get to the good stuff. And the first keyboard shortcut that I want to show you is called Zoom Selected Track. So go to the keyboard shortcuts or use the hotkey for that, which is much more convenient, and type Zoom Selected and should show right up. And I've currently assigned that to one of the side buttons here on my mouse. If you want to learn more about how I did that, you can check out my tutorial linked here. But this is very useful because this is a command that I need all the time and having that on such a quick access is just a great thing. So let me show you what it does. With Zoom Selected Track, I can literally just select any of my tracks here and then boom, I get the track height expanded to extra large. And um, this also works on a multi-selection. So if you're working on a specific section of your song currently, it's just great to be able to make everything big like that. And once you're done, you just hit that again and everything becomes the same size again. This is very similar to Zoom to Selection, which is one of my absolutely favorite keyboard shortcuts that I've also featured in my Zoom Like a Boss video. But Zoom to Selection is actually event-based, so you'd always have to have an event selection for that to work properly. And Zoom Selected Track is actually just track-based so having tracks selected without any events here in the timeline is enough for it to work. The second keyboard shortcut that I have for you today is called Toggle Optional Views. And it can be very useful if the goal is to quickly regain orientation and view of your song arrangement without any extra windows such as mixer consoles and so forth. So we go to the keyboard shortcuts once more. And by default, the command Toggle Optional Views is assigned to Shift plus F12. But I like to assign it to something that's more easily accessible. I talk about hotkey ergonomics a lot. And so we're just going to reassign it to F1 instead. So whenever I have my editor open, like my musical editor here, my piano roll, or my mixer, then I can just hit this new keyboard shortcut toggle optional views and the browser, the mixer console, also the piano roll, as you can see, are disappearing and clearing the view for me to see my entire song again. The third keyboard shortcut that I want to show you today utilizes the track and channel filter list, which you can use to quickly hide all the tracks except the ones that you're currently working on or the mixer console channels. It works the same there, which really helps declutter your entire arrangement and focus on what's important. Let's go to the keyboard shortcuts once again and type filter. And here you should find filter channels and filter tracks. Filter channels would be to narrow down the selection of mixer console channels and tracks would be the ones in your arrangement. For my uh, application, I really like filter tracks. So let me just enter a keyboard shortcut and demonstrate what it does. 
I have a folder here that's called drums, for instance, and I have a couple of other folders like vocals, choir, bass. If you follow the same naming structure mostly, then you can use this most effectively. I just hit the keyboard shortcut and this opens up the track list and puts the search filter into direct focus. So you can do that with just one command. And then you can just blindly type drums, for instance, and you would only see the drums in your arrangement. As soon as you type vocal, then you would only see the vocals and so forth. And this also works just the same if you use the channel filter command, filter channels, and uh, it would open up the similar looking search in the mixer console. Keyboard shortcut number four helps you insert an effect plugin without having to open up the browser first or clicking on that plus inside of the track inspector. Let me show you. So I just quickly access my keyboard shortcuts menu through the hotkey that we assigned in the very beginning and search for add insert. You're gonna find it, it's this one under the console chapter and assign any keyboard shortcut of your choice. I'm just gonna go with this one, hit assign and okay. And now, instead of having to open up the track inspector first and clicking on this plus here to add my insert effect, or having to open up the browser and go all the way here to the effects chapter, what I can do instead is just make my track selection, hit that new hotkey, and it opens up that dialog to add an insert plugin right from here. Now, I don't know if this also works on Windows, but on my Mac, I can quickly just start typing, like for example, gate, and it would immediately allow me to enter a gate into the currently selected channel. So this is a really powerful feature sometimes, especially if you're working with a wider display where the browser or the track inspector might be a little bit too far out of reach sometimes. The fifth and final keyboard shortcut that I have for you today is for everybody working with MIDI uh, because it allows you to double or half the tempo of any MIDI part very quickly. So we go to the keyboard shortcuts once again and type in tempo. And here you should find under the chapter macros, double tempo and half tempo. You wanna assign that to any keyboard shortcut of your choice. In my case, I went with control plus and minus. And now I can just select any MIDI notes in my arrangement, for example, these ones here, and then hit command and plus to make it twice as fast. Can also hit that multiple times, or I can make it just half as fast by using control and minus. Can be very powerful, particularly when you make it faster and then combine it with duplicate. The D keyboard shortcut in Studio One allows you to build entirely different bass lines, for instance. Right? Pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you got something from this. Thank you for watching and see you next time.